Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm feeling the Halloween vibes. I have these really cute like haunted house earrings. I got them from JCPenney. It's like Bijou Bar is the name of the brand. So if I can find them online on their website, I'll link it for you down below. But if not, check out JCPenney. Their jewelry section is looking really nice. Not sponsored. <laughs> But what I have for you today is this new palette from Revolution Beauty. It's called Truly Sinful. So it's definitely the Halloween theme, something spooky, and that's what I'm trying to do for you guys in October. Keeping it spooky and keeping it fun. I like this palette. I had fun creating the two looks that I'm going to show you guys. I didn't feel overwhelmed because it's not a huge palette. Like the Peanuts palette by Perfusion was just too big and it was too much for my mind. But this is, how many shades is this? This is only 12 shades and that was perfect for me. And there are some really nice grungy tones in here and I love that for fall. So I'm going to show you the two looks, including the one that I have on my eye, show you swatches, and then give you my final thoughts. So let's get started. So first, I want to add a little bit of a color in the crease. So I like the crease shade to actually like peek out. So I like to bring it like in this brow area, brow bone area. Berry shade called Sinner it feels a little light it's super smooth it's a very soft powder so it's not super super pigmented when you compare it to the pan and then the inner part of my eye I actually want to go with this matte shade right here I mean I feel like this shade is super creamy it's not powdery and so I can even use my finger to apply it. And to bring the matte shade, the lighter matte shade and the darker matte shade together, I'm gonna try to apply this shimmer shade in the middle, right here. The shimmer shade is really nice and soft and creamy. It's not messy. So the look is not like super coming out super in your face. And I think that's because the shades lack a lot of pigment. So the shimmer shade is nice and creamy. It's not super lustrous. It's not like in your face, but it's also not like crumbly, messy shimmer shade. It feels very satiny soft. Now, if I wanted this look to be a little bit more dramatic, I could put the black shade in the corner. I don't know if I want it to be that dramatic. Hmm. Super cute palette. You see the little devil horns? <laughs> hmm. So the black shade is not that pigmented either. I'm gonna bring that black shade into the lower lash line. Really like this berry shade. But I mean, if you're looking for something more berry type than the ColourPop Wine only, I think it was called, that palette was so nice. So I don't really know what to use for inner corner highlight. This shade is a little too golden looking. And then there's this shade. I think this one might work. I think this shade might work because it's like a peachy shimmer, maybe it'll work. Maybe I should have used a brush. Trying to keep the shadow very close to the inner part of the eye. Because I don't want like a messy, big inner corner highlight. It started off well, I was liking the palette, but I don't know if I like black shades that are not pigmented, especially the ones that get patchy. I am going to spray my brush and I know, and I'm gonna try going back in. And I know I'm risking making it even patchier possibly. 
that I just I can't stand it. I'm not liking the patchy black outer V, so. Okay, so I extended this side and it got more extended than this side. <laughs> okay, this is just great. All right, so here is the finished look. I'm actually pleased with the finished look. <laughs> Sometimes you struggle a lot as you're creating the look, but when it's done, you end up loving it. And I absolutely love it. Despite all the issues that I have with the black shade, I feel like the creamy matte shade and the shimmer shade, they just blended very beautifully together. And I love the berry and the black colors on the outer part of my eye. And I love the makeup look overall. For my lips, I used this MAC lipstick. I will put the shade name up on the screen. And I love this color and I love how this lipstick shade looks with the I love this look. I'm really curious about this gray shimmer shade right here. I love gray eyeshadow, so can't wait to create something. For my crease, the only shade I feel like that works from this palette is either this peachy shade or this brown shade. I'm gonna go in with the peachy shade because I like like a really bright color popping out from behind my like eyeshadow look. So I also like to bring that color like more into the brow bone as well. Reddish pinkish shade right here in the corner. Into the crease a little bit too. I'm getting like a line right here in the crease which is so odd. I don't have that on this side. I'm gonna try to rotate. See if I can get. Oh, I shouldn't have rotated. Ah! Oh! Now I've completely gone over the peach shade. I did not mean to do that rotating motion. Oh my goodness. Great. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna turn this into. Oh! This is getting messy. Now I have pink all the way to my brow because I went like this. I'm going with this really beautiful dark like berry purpley shade. I'm kind of like doing like a, a V outwards like this because my eyes are kind of round and sometimes I like to bring it outwards to kind of counteract the roundness. Sometimes I like the roundness but sometimes I like to extend the eye more outwards. So then I just bring my eyeshadow out and yeah that I think works. To use another brush and I'm gonna spray it because I want to pack a little bit more of that berry shade in the outer corner this side looks really patchy not because the shade is patchy it's because I used part of it with the damp brush part of it without the damp brush so now I actually have literally like a triangle patch on the corner I'm going to use a damp brush and I'm going to bring that berry shade out, kind of like a liner because I'm not liking this triangle at the outer part of my eye. I'm just going to bring it out. Alright, now is the moment of truth, the gray shade. I don't know how I feel about how this 
berry shade is looking. I'm gonna go back in again. Let's see if I can use that very light peach shade right here in the inner part of the eye. It's very light, but I think that works. Maybe I'll go in with this sort of red shimmer shade here. Uh, it's really pretty. Make the bottom part a little softer. Finish up the other eye, put some liner, mascara, and then I'll be right back. All right, so here is the finished look. I am loving it. I love how the gray shimmer blends into the pink and the berry right next to it. it I, it's, it's so pretty. Here's a closer look. So my final thoughts on this palette, I had a lot of fun once my look was done. <laughs> As you saw, there were some struggles with the matte shades not being super pigmented, and then I tried using a damp brush, which can sometimes create more issues. So I did struggle with the matte shades, but I feel like the shimmer shades kind of brings it all together, and the colors that they've used in this palette also kind of work together. For my first look, like the shimmer shade and even like this matte shade, which felt super creamy, the way that they blended into each other looked beautiful. And then the gray shimmer shade that I used in this look and the way that that kind of blended into the pink and then the berry next to it, I feel like the colors just work really well together. I think it's a really nice cohesive color story even though when you look at the palette you're like what's happening because all you see is light on this side and dark on this side but everything with the two looks that I tried worked out really well with each other. So overall a pretty good palette. Just a warning the mattes are not super pigmented so I don't want someone to look at the dark side and be like, oh my god, this is going to give me the pigment I need, they look so dark. There's going to be some struggle there. So just bear that in mind. But if... But I... Oh! I didn't even realize this before. I just noticed this. I was wondering what the purpose of this extra plastic was. I thought they were just trying to make the palette look heavier and the palette does feel pretty good quality in your hand, but I just noticed the way that they made it is there's liquid in here and I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it looks like blood flowing through in here. There's like a red liquid in here. Or it might not be red, it might just be clear, but I love it. I love spooky stuff, so this sort of little detail, that makes me so happy. I think they did a really good job with this, this release. I mean, when you look at this and you compare it to like the Wet n Wild Nightmare Before Christmas palette, which was literally like a sticker almost. It felt like just a regular palette with a sticker on top. Like this is someone who thought about what they're doing and I really appreciate that creativity. See how much this palette is compared to the... Because the Wet n Wild palette was $9.99. It's $10. I don't know why Revolution Beauty is not popular in the beauty community anymore, but like this is a really good palette for $10. It feels heavy, it feels high quality, it's super creative in the way that they did the whole liquid in here. And 
The color story I feel like is nice and cohesive. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are not as nice as I want them to be, but I think this is a really good palette. If you're interested in getting this palette, I will leave a link down below for you guys. It will be an affiliate link, so I will make a small commission, and I will appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. I wanted to do two looks so that you can get a good idea of what this palette is about. And uh, so if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.